Hello, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 5th to August 11th, 2019. Hello, my beautiful Capricorns, my beautiful Cappies. Thank you for all being here. Thank you for all the love and support that you have been giving me on my channel. Um, I really appreciate all of you. And for the new subscribers that are here, welcome um, welcome to my platform. For those of you that do not know this, I channel messages through my higher self and the divine. And so uh, I use the cards as a tool to deliver you messages. So I'm not like other tarot readers that read by the book. Okay, and uh, you always, uh, just to let you know, because I do get a lot of messages about that. And so I am just stating it here firmly that I channel the messages through. Okay, so now on YouTube lately, what's been happening, okay, for all, uh, for a lot of, of people, because I've been noticing, is that YouTube goes through a lot of like these changes and they're going through updates all the time. So just be, uh, just watch to see if uh, you got unsubscribed or you got subscribed to people that you do not want, okay? Because I know it's been happening a lot and a lot of people are coming to me and go, did you post a video? Did you post this video? I can't find you. I don't know how to find you again. Okay, so just make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell. And you need to check that on a monthly basis to see because sometimes YouTube, not on purpose, but they will... Uh, unsubscribe you and subscribe you to other people okay so just check that out I'm just putting it out there for everybody now let's get started with your reading I feel okay uh, for a lot of you here before I, I, I got into your energy uh, I feel that your your sacral chakra is being worked on at this moment okay the sacred your sacral chakra is being worked on I feel that there's a completion that took place for you in your heart there's a completion I feel a deep completion, a deep, uh, it's like something in passion, something is going to, is, is um, some, some kind of passion that got, um, that is being put forth for you, okay? And you're embracing this with all your heart. And in the month of August, I feel, okay, in the month of August is very strong here. I feel that things are going to be like very quickly for you. Things are going to take place very quickly, like very like uh accelerated motion taking place okay because you you are in touch with your um, higher self your divine your star seed family uh, i feel that the stars are m very much connected with you capricorn and a lot of you are reaching for the light and reaching for more light and more light okay because there is a light and it's starting to show for you okay but some of you are still trapped in this fear okay there's a lot of, i also feel like there's like there's a balancing act for some of you, okay? There's a balancing act where I feel that you are, some of you are stuck in this fear. You feel like you're in prison. You feel like you can't move, but that's all fear-based. And the thing is, is that if you have fear and love, you can't have fear and love in the same room. That does not exist. Fear is an illusion. It does not exist. And fear, when it's put there, it's for you. What happens is that the fear appears and you feed the fear and you stay trapped, because of that, they don't want to make you see higher. As now at the moment is that, so the more fear you put, the more you're creating something that's not really there. So you need to shift that around. So I know a lot of you are, are working on your light and shadow side at this moment, okay? Uh, very strong. And I feel that spiritually, your strength is going to regain, you're going to regain strength, okay? I see that uh, some, your, could be your angels, your guides, um, you know, universe, the divine is coming in to help you, to help you, okay, on your spiritual gifts that you have. Some of you are waiting for something. You're waiting. Maybe some of you are waiting. You're just in a waiting process right now. You know, it's like when you put, um, you know, that, uh, what you call that thing? I have one here, this thing, an hourglass, right? And you, some of you put it like this and like, you're just waiting for something. There's like a waiting moment that's taking place for some of you. And there's a lot of options, okay? A lot, I see travel. I see positive travel coming for you. But I also see a lot of options that are open and they're asking you to choose wisely, okay? And to really like uh, not... And also what I'm picking up for some of you Capricorns out there, my beautiful Cappies, is that you can't trust everybody. I know that you... Uh, you have to know who you have to trust. And it's very important to keep quiet on your plans at this moment. You can't tell everybody your plans. You can't have a trusted friend, two trusted friends, maybe three trusted friends, okay? 
but you cannot tell everybody about your plans and you need to keep quiet is what they're telling me okay so now let's get started with your reading beside me i have three oracle cards these oracle cards here is for you to ask any questions you want now till the end of the reading and they're very powerful no ego intended in the power in the oracle cards if by my channel message i don't give you what you need the oracle cards will tell you directly so um you could choose by crystal or by cards or you could just let your intuitive sight uh, guide you you have the uh, romance angels is deck number one rose quartz deck number two ask angels orange selenite and deck number three archangel michael obsidian obsidian sorry so you could choose by crystal or by card it's up to you and ask the questions now and i just saw five 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 okay first card i took out for you is uh, number number eight is very strong in your reading number eight okay and that's also the infinity number for twin flames as well storm calling this is going to be your challenge for this week storm calling so storm is coming warning storm warning sorry there's a storm coming <laughs> um make sure you have your umbrellas no i'm just kidding but what that means is that's really good okay um the divine is coming in to purify uh everything for you it's coming in to release what is not longer serving you okay because this people this could be people situations lovers whatever it is uh, that are not for your highest good this is like the tower moment but there's a new beginning that's going to take place after this is going to be happening for you okay so i'll put this on over here I also took out uh, some cards for you uh, to see like your affirmation, your crystal. Now the crystal that you are going to be needing is ameth amethrin. Amethrin. I hope I'm saying this right. Amethrin. All right. And this talks about balancing masculine and feminine energies. And this is what I felt from the beginning is like I feel that the light, the shadow, you're trying to balance that out, that like they stay at the same level because we have to honor our light as much as we have to honor our shadow side. Okay, we, that's like, it's a yin and yang, right? Okay, so um, allow your feminine side to creatively ex inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Okay, so Amatron. And uh, right now, earthfamilycrystals.com earthfamilycrystals.com is having a 10 a minus 10 percent on all their crystals so uh, and that they're family-based uh, units so if ever you want to check it out earthfamilycrystals.com so this you could use it in a meditation or you could put an intention on it and carry it with you during the day i also took out a, a sacred power card okay these are the cards maybe um, i think it's sacred power and um this is your card so this will mean something for you when you look at it and it says your purification so a lot of you are right now are going through a purification the storm warning is coming in so you're using water uh water-based uh rituals uh, to do this uh, there's there is something uh, that's coming to you and I feel there's upgrades that are going to be taking place I took out a chakra card for you and uh, it says impatience here so some of you need to be patient at this moment I know that you're trying to uh, go towards uh, you are going higher okay in elevation this could be spiritually or career or finances but they're asking you to be uh, patient because at this moment you are impatient this has to do with your throat chakra as well so some of you have to um, uh, communicate clearly and not be afraid to communicate you know or say something instead of going for some of you go around the bush before you have to actually say what you want to say but at the same time they want you to be patient as well so carry a blue uh a lapis lapsuli okay that will work or wear a lot of blue as well that will work for you and uh yeah that's what they're saying okay and your uh affirmation is peace it says if you want to repeat after me i am a being of love and i release all negative energy I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And so it is. 
So when I asked uh, for a work your light, they gave me two cards instead of one. Two of them fell, so I had to take them. First one is Akasha. Akasha. I'm sure some of you have been there in these realms, right? And it says your, your guidance is divinely guided. Your guidance is divinely guided. For those of you that have been asking if you are being gui uh, divi uh, divinely guided, it's a yes, 100%. And it says... This one here, Pillar of Light. Look how beautiful this card is. Mm -hmm. And it says here, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. That's it. You are the oracle. You know what this means. And you know I'm talking directly to you. Right? Okay. So now, let's get into your energy. Let's get into your energy. I'm sorry. I meant your card reading. But before I do that, I have my singing bowl. A lot of you missed the singing bowl, so I'm bringing it back, okay? So what I do with this is I clear my energy, my space. I clear your energy in your space. I will clear your chakras. I will align them and your aura. And uh, all you have to do is take a deep breath in and release. And when you release, you release to your solar plexus, to Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, okay? So let's go. Let's get started. Okay, when I looked up, the first thing I saw was 1313. I don't know who, who that message is for. I will take my spray. I will spray Archangel Michael, my towers here, my angels, my sacred space, my cards, and you. Okay, so now let's get started with your reading, my beautiful cappies. I hope that you're all doing well. You know, Mercury retrograde uh, went forward, but uh, it's still in the shadow side till the second week of August. So there's still a lot of like things that are going to be mess messed up. And uh, with all the planets that are retrograde still, and the eclipses, and the new moon that we had, the black moon. I hope that you had a super moon uh, ritual done. I know a lot of you have. 
So just remember, if this reading does not resonate, look at your rising, your moon, your Venus, your Mercury. Look also at your Saturn, your Jupiter, and your Chiron, and Neptune, since all the planets are retrograde. You could, you, want, you, you could look at this reading now and come back at the end of the week to see if it resonated with you. All right? So what are the messages for my beautiful Cappies? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have to the messages. Okay. We cut the cards in three. Okay. Sorry, my eye. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, I do see right away 1111 on the ground. There is a renewal that's taking place. So there is a tower moment and a storm cloud, a storm warning that's coming for you. Okay. And it's all for your highest good because you've been wanting this and you've been working on yourself. Okay. A lot. So there's a lot, there's a lot of that coming in for you. Okay. I do see that you are grateful at this moment that you are very grateful for maybe, uh, whatever your, you know, whatever your situation is. I see, uh, celebrations in the home. I see some kind of proposal coming in also and uh, deep feelings of peace and happiness that's taking place. Okay, a very contented life I see here. I see some of you that will be proposed to or you're going to propose to someone here because, uh, you know, I do see that there is uh, some kind of celebration that's going to be taking place here, okay, for you. Okay, there we go. Um... Right now, you are reviewing the past. You're reviewing the past right now and uh, and the present so you could look at a better future. You're looking at everything when this tower movements, this renewal that's going to come in for you, okay? And it's understanding your life purpose. And uh, you need to release judgments about yourself and other people as well. There is going to be a message or you are going to be bringing in a message or it's you reaching out to someone or someone's reaching out to you. Okay, and it's going to be a very sudden and unexpected changes coming place and seek out in, uh, intellectual uh, solutions to your problems that will come in. This person that you're dealing with is very inte inte intellectual, sorry, determined, focused, okay, and they will, um, that they, they're, they're able to make solutions or something, or like, let's say there's an issue, this person will be able to help you to find the solution to that place, okay? Or some of you could be dealing with a, uh, I see a fire sign here. I see Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I also see here um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There is someone around here for you, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. He or she is very romantic, captivating, dramatic, and uh, there. Uh, this could be falling in love suddenly, okay? Uh, being swept off your feet for some of you. That's coming, whoever this person is for you. Okay. Uh, they're also they're also asking you to stay very grounded at this time. And uh, it's going to be a very, um, a very emotional experience that's going to take place with this person. Now, if let's say you reached out to someone, this is what's going to happen. I feel that a lot of you are feeling left out of a situation. But I really feel that this is an abandonment issue for some of you, okay? Some of you are not, don't have enough money. You're uh, feeling out of a situation. You're feeling like left out of a situation. You're feeling that there's not enough help, okay? And that's wrong because I do see that you have, you could, you could reach out to someone and get the help, okay? But what I'm feeling very very strongly here is this is abandonment issues that you have to that you haven't dealt with yet uh, some of you capricorns you have to go back in the past okay and review everything because now is a perfect time to release everything that's why the planets are retrograde the planets are retrograde with all the eclipses that we had it's here to help us to move forward but we need to release the past okay and you need to have forgiveness as well and compassion and kindness as well okay so what they're saying here is that you need to release, okay, uh, this abandonment issue that you have, uh, do healings, okay, um, also, um, I will be having someone here very shortly, um, maybe in the next week or so, uh, that will be starting to do, uh, will, that will do healings, and uh, I'll, I could, you know, 
give you the information uh, when the person is ready to come forth. But besides that, you can listen to Steve Noble on YouTube, okay? And he does have like past ancestral stuff there where he could remove even uh, you feeling abandonment. And it will work, okay, if you believe. So Steve Noble on YouTube. But uh, some of you are feeling challenged by money issues. I do see that, okay? And I do see that uh, there's information that will come in to help you. Which w some of you, uh, this information will be d difficult to hear, okay? And uh, because this person that's coming in is going to speak the truth, but he or she will do this with kindness, okay? Uh, and, um, you know, let's see what else I see here. I see a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or I see you uh, eventually, uh, this could be you as well. Uh, you are holding your own, okay? Holding your own. You're very grounded. You have money. You're very stable. Some of you are stable here, or you're secure at least, okay? Uh, they, what they're saying here is that I feel here, if this you are dealing with someone that has cancer scorpion, maybe you're dealing with someone, maybe I'm seeing a lot of, maybe you're dealing with someone that has uh, earth energy, water energy, fire energy, and air energy. Remember, uh, this is what they're showing me, okay? Uh, also, to be practical, to be practical, with respect to how you proceed with things. That's what's good about you. And the ability to make anything more beautiful. You're able to do that, my beautiful Cappies. Just your presence in the room will it does that for others, okay? You bring a lot of light and stability and love to other people. And it, you do change people's lives. Those that really see you in that way, okay? Uh, you could also be meeting someone that will be helping you to make your dreams come true. Okay, so you could meet meeting someone that's very generous, very stylish, gracious, and practical. And uh, this person will help make your dreams come true because it will be successful. You got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands talks about wonderful news that's on its way, uh, smart choices that bring big rewards, and successful and public recognition. This person that you could be dealing with could be a fire sign again. Again, I got all the signs here, so it could be any sign. You just have to know if this is for you. You'll know that I'm speaking to you and you'll feel it, okay? Uh, this could be, again, a uh, someone that's very successful already. This is already a, maybe a famous person that you know. This could also be you as well. And um, you could be dealing with an Sagittarius uh, Aries or Leo, but they could have this in their rising or moon sign. This person, I feel, is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here. Okay, I pick up. Okay, very loving, very intuitive, very emotional, comforting. They want you to listen to your heart. Intuitive insights that you can trust that are coming in, so don't doubt yourself. And taking care of others, perhaps a bit too much, okay? Maybe you're taking care of too many other people, and you're not taking care of yourself, okay? And you did get the Ace of Pentacles coming in, so there is a gift that's coming towards you, okay? A gift, this is money, opportunities, or a blessing that's coming in, or a windfall of money, advice, or assistance that's going to be coming in it's a very a successful project and a very happy change in your career and they're saying no more procrastination okay that's what they're telling you no more pro uh, procrastination um, your power comes from making a decision there's a decision that you have to make probably and confusion that arises from over analyzing the options that you have maybe you have too many options and you need to start like seeing which way you want to go okay so i'm going to take out my other cards here to give you a more deeper reading this is going to be the celtic cross that i'm going to be doing because the celtic cross i what i like about it is about the moment now okay we're doing now we're not and a bit of they show you a bit of the past but it's more about the moment and what's coming up so let's see what's happening for you for my beautiful capricorns what are the messages here I see how you are working hard in details. You're planning. You're planning. You're working hard in details. They're asking you not to give up. Some of you are going to be dealing with a cancer. Okay, this is a cancer card. It's the moon, right? Cancers are associated to the moon. Maybe you have cancer in your chart. Maybe your moon is in cancer. You're rising. Okay, but this is your challenge card okay it's not a challenge card but it's what is um 
crossing you at this moment. And this could talk about fears as well, fears and anxiety and going into the unknown, going through a passage. There's a passage here, okay? Maybe at the new moon that came in um, July 31st, some of you had this appear towards you, okay? In the recent past, there was some sort of commitment. Um, in the past, or you, Capricorn, were hiding information from them or were not being truthful towards a certain person or this is vice versa, okay? There is a key here for you if you want it. What is... I'm going to place out the cards and uh, again, you're feeling... You're, for some of you are feeling like you don't have enough I feel for here for some of you, you're feeling that you don't have enough or you're feeling like uh, you're feeling like you're left in the dark, but you're not. There is helpful people around. Your hope is that you're going to regain your strength again and be be strong in your powers in the way that you had them before. And you will be, you will be. Just keep on rising here. So let's see what uh, the last card is here. There's also a fire sign that's around you. Okay, let's see what... Um... There is uh, there is here an offering that's coming in for you. For some of you, you apologize to someone. Someone apologized to you. This is an offering or uh, for opportunity for to make more money or in your career. So we're going to go deeper into the reading and see what's going on here, okay? Uh, like I was saying, there is a fire sign that's here, uh, that's around you, that ma is making you feel this way, that you don't have enough or that you're not enough, but you are enough, okay, my beautiful Cappies, for whoever that's, that message is for. So now why is the Eight of Pentacles here? There's an eight of pentacles on the ground. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Patience is needed. Okay, keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep working hard, whatever it is, that, whatever plans, whatever goals that you have. Uh, Jupiter in uh, Sagittarius will bring you gifts, will bring you something. When it leaves Sagittarius and it goes into Capricorn, it will bring you major gifts. And then it's going to be in your sign, which for the whole year. So that's awesome, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, there's a lot of uh, blessings that are coming with this. This could be so you're dealing with a Sagittarius. This could be you're dealing with someone that is an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, if not, <clears throat> keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. Because there is blessings taking place. You will need to practice a lot of patience, okay? Uh, you will need to practice a lot of patience. Some of you are being patient. Some of you will have to practice being patient. Because there is a healing that's taking place for you and a blessing that's coming forth. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer here. Okay, let's see what the Moon card is all about. Why is the Moon card here? Why is the Moon card here? Well, from a place where maybe you fought in the past, there was a lot of fighting in the past, drama from other people, or if you were dealing with someone here that was Sagittarius, Aquarius, or Cancer, could be also Pisces here, but it's mostly Cancer, what I see strong here, where there was a lot of uh, maybe fighting or, uh, not fighting, but drama, you know, uh, you're getting a completion that's taking place for you. That's beautiful. So completion means that um, you you learned your life lessons, whatever it was that you had to, because, you know, sometimes uh, life lessons could be hard because we keep making the same mistakes over and over again. But this time you got it here. And there's a new beginning that's going to take place, maybe with a person that was a Cancer, Aquarius, or, or, or a uh, Sagittarius, or... There is here a new beginning for you of lesson lessons learned, new beginnings taking place, and light travel is gonna is also gonna take place. I'm gonna ask for an extra card to see what this world card is all about. Wait, too many cards. Why is the world card okay? 
This has to do with twins. Lovers. Okay. You see the two? Two. Um, so this has to do with a twin flame journey that you've been going through. Maybe you've been going through a very hard... Oh, everybody goes through. Not everybody. Uh, twin flame journey is uh, happy and glorious. Okay. It sometimes takes a long time for twins to reunite. This is a lover. And for those of you that do not have a twin, this is a soulmate. Could be a best friend. Uh, it could be uh, just something that comes in, but of two people coming in together. A lot of love here, okay, where it's going to be stable, okay, stable. I see stable and security here. Now, let's see what the elephant is all about in the past. It's going to be very successful, very successful. I do see that in money, very successful. Money, uh, recognition, public recognition. I dropped the card, and there's Sandy. For those of you that haven't seen Sandy, 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 say hi. <laughs> there she goes. She says hi to everybody. Everybody wants to. She's always behind me when she does the readings. So I feel in the past you cut someone or someone cut you off, okay? This was a person that wanted a commitment from you, or you wanted to have a commitment. Okay, this is a commitment that's coming in. This could be also an institution, also like maybe a place where you will make a commitment of the past and you cut. But I feel strongly here that there was a commitment for you in the past, in the recent past. Okay, or this is the root of the situation where someone cut off somebody, okay? Or someone backstabbed somebody, whatever the case is. What is this all about? Yeah, broken dreams, broken promises, whatever the case, okay, of the past. It was broken dreams, broken promises. There was a completion, a completion, okay? So why is the Seven of Swords energy here? What I feel here is that you have to be, you need to be more, you can't trust everybody and you can't tell everybody everything, okay? I really strongly see this here in your chart as well. I mean, not in your chart, but in the, in the card reading as well here. You need to not say anything because there's a lot. I do believe that the tower is coming in. The storm warning is coming in to release everything and anyone that's not for your highest good. Why is the seven of swords here? Energy. Or some of you are not that, uh, it could also be that some of you are not <clears throat> telling the person you're with or whatever it is, your true feelings. I feel all you are looking at the things that went wrong and you're not looking at the positive things around you. Some of you are, are not saying anything and some of you should be saying nothing. Okay, if that makes sense for you. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? What is this all about? It's an ending of a difficult situation. It's an ending where you have been carrying a lot on your shoulders and you're not saying anything about your true feelings. Some of you have to really release your past of abandonment. You got what's right now with you is new beginning that's taking place. So there is a new beginning taking place where you're going to be feeling lighter. You're going to be traveling. I see traveling here. Uh, you're going to be free like a bird. Okay, my beautiful caps. There's a decision that has to take place for you. You have to use your throat chakra. You have to use that throat chakra to speak your truth with love and kindness, of course. Okay, and I see you picking up the pieces and moving forward. Okay, you're picking up the pieces and moving forward. Because I saw number 22. What is that all about? What is the two, the two of swords and the two of wands about? Well, it has to do with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. Okay? There's an offering of a friendship. Very intuitive, very nice people. Very kind, very compassionate. They wear their heart on their sleeves. But at the same time, they're also... You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. 
which could be also you. But if this is someone else, let's say this is this is someone that's coming in very gentle, but they're also very strong. They're like the mother, a mother figure, or uh, they are very grounded with money. They're very stable. They able, they're able to nurture and take care of other people. And yes, you're getting judgment. This is something that's coming to you faded. This is your destiny, where once you were not seeing things clear because you were in the dark, you are going to be seeing the light again. You're going to be very peaceful, very at peace, okay? So before I saw 33, 50, the right person is going to come in. Sorry about that. I got disturbed. So there's some, when I asked why the five of pentacles is here, what I saw here is that you will overcome this. Whatever the situation is taking place for you, whoever that's coming in for you, that's getting the completion where you're getting new beginnings taking place for you, okay? There is going to be success. I see twice rainbows coming in, okay? So you are going to overcome. Not right now, but if whatever this decision that you have to do, whatever it is, you're going to overcome this situation about success, money, love, whatever it is. This is a uh, long-term futuristic okay i'm talking about like future where you're gonna be able to have enough money to invest your money in every situation or place or possible where it is okay because i see rainbows here a lot of rainbows so you are gonna overcome this okay but there is something coming to you faded it's your destiny of course it's free will but it's still your destiny and it will be faded and grounded as well okay why is the mother of swords here there's someone here, uh, this could be you, Cappy, or there's someone around you that is a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay, who uh, I feel is a very, uh, now, this could be part of her energy, or that's her sign, or this could be part of her energy. I also got here that this person could also be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, very loving, very giving, as like I said, they know how to care about the people they love. Uh, but they're very precise and they see everything as well, okay? They they talk straight, like they're straight shooters, they're blunt. They'll tell you as it is, okay? And sometimes they'll be very blunt about it, but at the same time, they're very caring. Uh, this could take place in the month of August for some of you, or you're dealing with a Leo, or this is you, Cappy, that you have Leo in your chart, okay? Some of you do have Leo in your chart here, I do see this, okay? Where you're going to be offering some something to someone or someone is going to do that for you. You also got what's around you is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is um, a gift that's coming in, a blessing, okay, that's coming in from the universe, a blessing, uh, someone coming in to help you maybe, but there's a blessing and that's taking place here for you or for some of you, a career, something that's going to move you up into the world, like in money or career or love, okay? But there is, what I when I see this the Ace of Pentacles, it's a gift that's coming in. Gifts, unexpected gift, and money. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? So you're going to be going through a major transformation with when this comes in for you, okay? A major transformation. So you're dealing with a uh, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Or a Pentacle, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn like you. But there is a transformation that's going to take place when you get this money. Or whatever this is opportunity that's coming in for you, it's going to change your life. Maybe this will take place in November of 2019 as well. Is the death and the ace of pentacles here? You got the ace of cups, unconditional love, returning to yourself as unconditional love, my beautiful Cappies. This could also be someone that's here for you. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, very strong. Um, that is unconditional love, sacred love. This is sacred love. Love of, life, love of a lifetime. It's going to transform your life. So 
Some of you are blocking someone or someone's blocking you from success, I feel here. <clears throat> but if someone's blocking you, okay, uh, my beautiful Cappies, from success or whatever they're trying to do, well, justice will come in to fix this for you, okay? Justice is coming in where uh, I really feel your light and your shadow side. That you, there's like a merge that's taking place for some of you as well. Truth, any delays, uh, anything that has been delayed will be coming towards you. Rulings that will be made on your side, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Some of you are hoping to be with a Libra maybe. And you have the Two of Cups, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Doesn't have to be. This could be also in the month of October. Things might take place for you. Because I see like this person has a fire energy. Earth, they have fire energy. They have a water energy and air energy. Two people wanting the same thing. You're hoping, for some of you are hoping for this to take place. For others of you, you're fearing to, for this to take place. It doesn't It depends where you are, you know, in your soul path. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to ask why the... I have here the Father of Swords, which is an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or this is you. I feel this is you, though, Gemini. Oh, Gemini, sorry. I didn't know why I said Gemini, but I meant Cappies, okay? So I feel that this is you, Capricorn. Uh, very strong, I feel that this is you. You're like, like I said, I feel that you are wisdom, you are light, you're seeing the truth in every situation, and you're going to have a lot of solutions. I feel like at the end of this, there's going to be a lot of ideas coming forth, and you're going to have the, all the solutions to it and with calmness, okay? There's going to be, a, I think, a, a, a sort of calmness with you, and, and, and uh, you're going to speak the truth with compassion and love, okay? And a lot of cutting of the cords here, I see here, okay? So why is this Father of Swords here? Or you're dealing with someone with that kind of energy. Let's see what else is going on here. Why is the Father of Swords here? Well, I'm seeing here Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Maybe he or she is the black sheep of the family. <laughs> what I see here, uh, I see a black swan, very beautiful, with red, a red beak. There's going to be a lot of messages coming forth, back and forth. A lot of messages here. What is the end result of this? A lot of messages, sudden movements, uh, fast movements, short distance travel taking place. What else is going on here? Why is the Father of Cups and the Father of Swords here? We've got the Ace of Swords. The Divine is coming in to bring you truth. Okay? Uh, the Divine is going to come in, remove anything that's not for your highest good. Uh, remove situations, people, even your own patterns and behaviors that need to be released. There's going to be a lot of truth, a lot of ideas, a lot of communication taking place. That's beautiful. And what's the overall energy here for my beautiful Cappies? Hmm. The Ten of Cups. New beginnings taking place in emotions. This is a relationship that's coming forth. Okay? A relationship and uh, both sides are healed when they come in. Both sides have healed themselves. And this is like new beginnings because I do see proposal, marriage here, and a commitment that's taking place. Uh, and I'm just going to ask why <clears throat> this, uh, this daughter of pentacles. This is an apology. Or you gave an apology or someone gave an apology or there's an opportunity here for you to make money. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's yeah, it is because you know why? Because the tower is coming in. There you go. This this uh this opportunity that's coming towards you to make money, maybe it's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, it doesn't have to be, but I have to say it, okay? <clears throat> it's gonna bring in the tower moment because things have to change for you, my beautiful Cappies. Not all of you are happy where you are at this moment. You're doing, <clears throat> there's a tower that's coming in to change things for you. So to, again, to release people, situations, everything, so that everything can be brought to you in the right manner. You know why? Because there's a lot of celebrations that are going to be taking place. That's why celebrations, happiness, you know, uh, a lot of con content here. Okay. And you are the high priest or the high priestess. So if you are going through your life purpose. Okay, this, op this opportunity that's coming in is going to change everything for you. Okay, a lot of changes are going to take place. 
because right now you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck. Okay? And if I look underneath the card, you got the chariot. Some of you are buying a new vehicle, something new. Others of you, you're taking charge of a situation and you're going to be moving forward. You know that there's going to be bumps along the way, but you're still going to proceed and go forward uh, with self-confidence. Some of you are dealing with a cancer because, again, this is a chariot card. The chariot is a cancer as well. Okay, so uh, a lot of dreams coming true here for all of you. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and uh, you know, uh, invite your friends to watch the videos as well. And now we're going to go with the Oracle cards, okay? So we have, for those of you that chose Romance Angels with the Rose Quartz, you got Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You're calling, calling in your soulmate for some of you. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help, you br help bring you together. And so it is. And this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. And so it is. For those of you that chose Ask Angels with the Orange Selenite, you got Be Assertive. Be Assertive. Success. And Communicate Clearly. And so it is. For those of you that chose Archangel Michael with the Obsidian, you got energy healing work i just saw 11 11 and your prayer is thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me thank you for connecting me to loving and highly high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities so some of you are healers here take your time making the decision and your prayer is, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach the situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. And so it is. And they're asking you to spend more time outdoors. Your prayers are, thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. And so it is. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. My beautiful Cappies, know that I love you very much. Don't forget to share, like, comment. Let me know how you feel about the reading and know that I have your back. Bye.